From the Outside, hosted by Brayton Horn. A view from the outside takes a look at key issues affecting St. Vincent and the Grenadines and gives a global perspective on how these issues are viewed. Host Brayton Horn will examine a variety of topics to enlighten, stimulate debate, and explore solutions. Hear the facts, hear the real life stories, hear a view from the outside. Join Brayton Horn at 7.30 a.m. every Saturday on Nice Radio for A View from the Outside. This society needs a spectacle. It might help us to see some people. This society needs a spectacle. This week, being the 29th of June 2019, we look at anniversary. A N N I V E R S A R Y, anniversary. With the view being that it is often a good idea to pause and take stock and remember a significant date in one's life, an anniversary. The Cambridge Dictionary defines anniversary as the day on which an important event happened in a previous year. And the Collins Dictionary states that an anniversary is a date which is remembered or celebrated because of a special event which happened in the previous year. From those definitions, we deduce that an anniversary is the yearly return of a date. It is a date which is significant. It is a date which is worth remembering or commemorating. It is a date which is often remembered and celebrated. An anniversary can therefore include a birthday, a wedding, a death, Christmas, independence, the opening of a project, such as a school or an airport, etc. Or an anniversary can be the start of a business etc. It is with regards to the start of a specific business that we, on a view from the outside, explore this topic this week. We in fact dedicate this program to Nice Radio and we take this opportunity to wish Nice Radio and its proprietor, Douglas DeFreitas, a belated Happy anniversary. Nice Radio celebrated 22 years of operation on the 27th of June 2019. There is no doubt that over those years, Nice Radio has evolved and has become an iconic institution in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It has become the place where listeners of all ages, locally, in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, around the Caribbean region, and internationally go to find information and the satisfaction on a diversity of topics and in a multiplicity of areas. The acronym of its name reveals the very essence of what NICE Radio is. It is N-I-C-E, NICE where the N is national, the I is interactive, the C is concerned, and the E enlightening. Nice Radio also lives by, or it lives up to its tagline, and many listeners have commented that it is definitely 2% radio, 98% love because the announcers exude love and leave listeners feeling wanted, feeling loved, and feeling satisfied. Despite the fact that there are many radio broadcasting outlets in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, it is generally believed that Nice Radio stands head and shoulders above all of the others in, ter- in terms of all-round broadcasting on a plethora of issues and in a diversity of areas. There are times, often, 
when Nice Radio is the only broadcasting outlet to broad, broadcast sports in the country. You name it, and Nice Radio brings it. Cricket, football or soccer, athletics, netball, and all other. And in addition to that, one gets Justin Douglas delivering the sports news every day, Monday to Saturday. And of course, that is in addition to his interactive program and at least, so, sorry, his interactive program at least twice a week. Nice Radio brings news of every kind, local, regional, and international. It also has the health news and the business news. And there have been times when it was the only station which informed the nation during a national disaster. Nice Radio brings religious programs from many different denominations. Nice Radio brings cultural programs, including carnival queen shows and many other carnival shows, including Calypso shows. Just last night into this morning, Nice Radio brought Fantastic Friday, the Calypso semifinals show. Nice Radio is a place where one goes to hear Calypso's which are not played on any other radio station because of their political content. Nice Radio brings educational programs of every kind. Programs put on by the University of the West Indies Open Campus. Programs pertaining to town hall meetings put on by other institutions, including trade unions. And there are a host of other educational programs on NICE Radio also. NICE Radio brings health programs, including Dr. Stan Horn with What in Health Are You Doing? And Healthy Vibes by Vin Abbott on a Saturday and more. NICE Radio truly informs, educates, and entertains. It brings the nation together. It has, daily, it has its daily birthday greetings program, which many at home and abroad look forward to. And it has its birthday pick of the week, which many look forward to as well. Every weekday morning, Monday to Friday, it has Doggy's own breakfast with God, dedicated to giving God praise. And it has Dougie's India show, where Dougie critiques a topic primarily of national importance. It has the Nice Driver program, which promotes and encourages safe driving. It has the Love Chronicles every Thursday evening, with Spicy interacting with the listeners and having them solve riddles, among other things. It has the Night Riders program, where listeners from all walks of life and from many different places on the globe come together as the Night Rider family and share greetings, mainly of love, joy, and sometimes of pain with one another. It has Keeping It Real with Joel, Abra Joel Father Abraham, and Mr. Alwyn Lewis, where, where they tackle all issues, legal, political, social, educational, etc., happening in and around the country. It has Randy D on a Saturday morning, where, among other things, this very program, A View from the Outside, is heard. And standing shoulders, head and shoulders above all other, Nice Radio is easily the only station which broadcasts programs which are dissenting to the current regime. These include the New Times program by the opposition New Democratic Party, current affairs on a Tuesday night with both Francois and his host, his other host. The Night Nurse on a Wednesday night with Margaret London. Nice Radio is indeed unique. It is more than just a radio station. 
It is a community in itself. And as said earlier, it is an icon. It highlights and supports the plight of the needy and the unfortunate, and it often raises funds to assist those in need. It is because of its uniqueness where it places emphasis on fairness, equity, and justice, why many say it is singled out by the current regime, who, it is said, is bent on putting it out of business. The records are, are there of the many attempts that have been made to put Nice Radio out of business. In fact, the intention, it is believed, is to put Nice Radio out of existence altogether. So, clearly, the 22 years of operation for Nice Radio have not all been smooth sailing. In fact, many of those years have been challenging. Despite those challenges, however, Nice Radio, by dint of hard work, resistance, and sheer determination, remains firm. It remains steadfast. It remains N-I-C-E, nice. And so, it is in that mood and solidarity that we, on a view from the outside, reiterate our best wishes to Nice Radio, Dougie DeFreitas, its management, and its entire staff. Happy anniversary. We wish the establishment many more years of programming and broadcasting. We encourage Nice Radio to continue to be N-I-C-E, nice, and to provide 2% radio and 98% love. We encourage Nice Radio to continue to provide a platform to all Vincentians and to all listeners. We encourage you, the listeners, to continue to support Nice Radio. And we ask you now to join us in wishing Nice Radio continued blessings, growth, and success. Until next week, Randy and all of the listeners, this is Britton Horn with a view from the outside, with a reminder to send your feedback as usual to a view from the outside. You can also get us on Facebook at a view from the outside. You can get us on YouTube at JMB Horn and you can catch up on Vibes Caribbean.